It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And there's no love lost between these NFC West foes. It's the Seattle Seahawks and the Arizona Cardinals next on Madden Football. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kick off straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what the great coaches of the past always said, the key to any ball game. Can you rush theirs and protect yours? Well, in this case, both of these teams get after the quarterbacks. I'm watching the pass rush. the kicker Jason Myers to get this one started and this one is underway here on EA Sports and running with power here and he'll be stopped up at the 25 the Cardinals making their way out and it's the number one overall pick in 2019 Kyler Murray at the helm and now that he's back at full health they're expecting Kyler to get back to being the superstar playmaker that they drafted. Make no mistake about it, when he's fully healthy, there are many quarterbacks who are as dynamic as he is. And if he's able to stay on the field, this team has a real chance to make some noise. First carry for James Conner. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. And Murray in trouble here, and down he goes. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. But you know it's never easy to get Kyler Murray down to the ground and to do it with a sack on their first drive. What a great tone setter defensively. Oh, and no one's celebrating more than the defensive coordinator because that's all he's preached all week long. Keep him hemmed in. Don't let him get into the open field and create big plays with his feet. To get him down in the pocket early, oh, that's got to feel great for them. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. That was no third and two. That was third and 16, but they get the conversion anyway. Well, three and out to start the game would have been a real disappointment. So this is a nice job of finding something you think will work and executing it. And they're able to keep this opening drive going. From the gun, Murray. Got his man, it's Dorch. Oh, he sheds himself free. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Consecutive catches for him, that good for 11. And every time you step on a field, coaches are always gonna talk about how important tackling is in a ball game. In this one, especially so. You can't allow these guys to break free and get extra yards after contact. But that's exactly that's caught inside the 20 touchdown cardinals a great play there 49 yards and the cardinals get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon for a big tight end he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going and as a defensive back you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that Now Matt Prater for the point after. And the Cardinals will go up seven to nothing. The drive summary that time, five plays. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. 
And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. And Smith continues to show that his career resurgence hasn't been some fluke. He's brought a level of maturity, stability, and good play that allows him to compete with any team on any given week. The real question is whether or not he can become a championship caliber quarterback. Only time will tell, but for now, he's done enough to give this franchise reason to believe they can certainly get the job done. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and that's going to bring up second down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working, but how about his vision to see where the play was going? Crash down inside and tackle. No chance to get away there for Smith as he goes down. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. Greg George, deep for Arizona. Powering forward, breaks a tackle. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Cards will take over, first and 10. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown, they got the stop, and now if they could get in the end zone here again, CD, they could grab an early stranglehold on this one. Yeah, they certainly can, and that's what you're looking for. Where's the advantage? Can you gain it? Can you press it? Now for them, finishing it off, because right now it's out there for them. They just got to go seize it. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. Down to the 42, second down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Second down at six now from the 42. Again, a run with Connor. Stiff armed him. Oh, and Nelson's face toppling. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 40 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. On first and ten is Counter. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Jerome Baker crashing downhill and getting the stop. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession as they've got it with a second and 13 forthcoming. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. Keeps himself upright. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. 
It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and they're going to face a third down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. From the gun on third down, Murray. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cardinals. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Cardinals go up by two touchdowns. Well, this has been a flawless start for them. They score, they get the stop, and they score again, Charles. Complimentary football at its finest. You just mentioned how they got it done. They scored. The defense got the ball back for them. They score again. That's the way you win ball games. Extra point good by Prater, and it's now 14 to nothing. That time, a six-play drive, and it winds up at a touchdown for Arizona. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. No gain on the play there. Second down. Here's Smith. Open man. That's Noah Fant, the tight end. Look at the big fella go. And he takes it all the way down to the 22. A big play there on the catch and run. 53 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Now Gino. He'll find Metcalf. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Gino out a throw. Touchdown, Seahawks. Noah Fant, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks are back within a score. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it's Noah Fant who caps things off with the touchdown. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Well, the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three. Because remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into over. Oh, that's in the double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Uchenna Nuosu. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. 
Well, this was a 14-0 game not too long ago. Things were looking pretty good. Then you give up the touchdown on the last drive, now the interception. So that's a lesson in trying to stay vigilant, isn't it? You have to stay on top of things. Can't relax too much because, as you noted, things change. Now they've got to go out there and get a spark going again and try and slow down this comeback. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. And they'll take over here following the interception with a chance to tie the ball game. It's first and 10. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. After the interception, here's Smith. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yardage and make it third and manageable? Or challenge the coverage again, hoping for a bigger game? And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14 to seven. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. A shotgun snap for Smith. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe-tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. Throwing now is Gino. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And the Cardinals have got it. Go the other way. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football, and they still find ways to knock it free. Following that fumble recovery, it's Murray. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. To throw, it's Murray. That ball caught by Harrison. And mark him down way up close to the 40 of the 39. 23 yards to pick up there. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Here's Murray. Throw on the right side, complete to Harrison. Touchdown, Cardinals! A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cardinals will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. Is this a touchdown? That's the question. CD, what are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, 
That's what they need to cross. So take away the touchdown. The officials rule he did not get the football to break the plane. Connor will take this one in. It's a Cardinal touchdown. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Prater on to add the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to Just a four-play drive that time. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Seahawks going to take over now late in this first half. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They can certainly use it down by two scores. From the gun, here's Smith. Left side here taken in by Metcalf. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Smith now to throw. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. This is caught inside the 15. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Smith. Throw out wide to Walker. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. Smith. And it's caught. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Now a third and goal situation as this Arizona defense tries to stand tall once more. Escaping the pressure. Diving for the end zone, and the ball's knocked out. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. But give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him. But it's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field. And he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. Ready to go with their next drive, and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And from here, might not be able to take a knee, might need to run a play here this close to their goal line. And he's going to lose yardage, not that it matters, as the final seconds tick away. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. It was a solid first half for the always dangerous Kyler Murray. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Here's Prater now set to kick it away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Seahawks offense and Geno Smith headed back out for this next possession. 
And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets, and it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far. Oh, it's out. Smith lost it. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And they will set up shop red zone territory at the 13-yard line. And now three drives, three fumbles. What's amazing about it is when we go around and watch practices, how many times do we see them put that sleeve over a football now to make it more slippery, yeah, slippery. and hard to handle? It's almost like they're playing with that sleeve on the ball right now. Was that three drives? Yep. Three, three fumbles? Three fumbles. It's time to change our luck some way, somehow. Focus, concentration, you'll hear those words on the bench in a big way right now. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Murray giving to Connor on the option. This carry, despite the extra effort, will be stopped short of the 10. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Now Murray. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. Though. Find him. Find him. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Touchdown! A great play there. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Cards have moved out in front by three touchdowns. On that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. Now Prater to add the PAT. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Now the ball now going back over to the Seattle Seahawks offense. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Second and seven, operating from the 34. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. His throw here's incomplete. Tyler Lockett was the target there, and it's third down. Throwing is Smith. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. He's got it with the 15. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. DK Metcalf, 66 yards. And the Seahawks are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. 
Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right there, now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. The extra point now coming from Myers. It's up and good, and it's now 28 to 14. Scoring summary, three play drive. And it's DK Metcalf who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Pushing his way through. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting at a great spot. Up two scores here in the third quarter. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down. But if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground. And that they did, that time for a loss. Murray going to throw. He's got Harrison left side complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A gain there of 21 yards. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Play fake, Murray. And it's nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. And that could have been the lifeline they needed. This is a play that could have been made. Instead, it's just going to fall incomplete. Murray a give. This is Connor. There's the stiff arm. And down to the 44, five yards that time. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit. You stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock, and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding clock. Throwing now is Murray. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Murray staying put for now. They'll go for it on fourth down. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. They go for it on fourth down, and it pays off big time as they pick up 29. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front. But somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. A give running right is counter. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. A tackle made by Boye Mafe. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Connor going to get it again on second down. 
And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. They're pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves, start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. Fourth down, Murray off, and the Cards field goal unit and Matt Prater out there now. Prater's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> All coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball, and it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's the Seahawks with possession of the football, but they do trail here to begin quarter number four. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. To throw is Smith. This one goes underneath to Walker. And some room to maneuver. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now it's Smith. Finding Smith and Jimbo downfield. Touchdown, Seattle! Jackson Smith and Jigba, 59 yards. And the Seahawks have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Now Myers for the extra point. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was capped off by a Jackson Smith and Jigba touchdown catch. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Cardinals' hands team able to secure the football. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it. It was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. They'll try the left side with Connor. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Fourth quarter, you've got the lead. You have to stay in bounds and run that clock. Coaches, that'll drive them crazy. Sacrifice a yard or two if you have to. Just go down, in bounds, keep that clock going. It's almost like he was caring more about his fantasy stats than it was about winning the game, and that has to drive a coach crazy. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. 
Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point, and they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And a bit of a mistake there. This is well into the end zone for a touchback. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at the 20. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Zayvon Collins picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Boy, that's tough, Charles. First play of the drive, you're hoping to stay ahead of schedule. You take that huge sack, and now you're facing second and a mile. And the entire time, you're probably thinking the same thing. Walker hitting the ball is out, and the Cardinals have got it. Going the other way. And he's going to get this on down to the 13-yard line. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over. But that one... That puts them in real jeopardy there. Absolutely. It was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that drop. And obviously now, no chance at all to get those points that they so desperately needed. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And they sit in a good spot, having the ball back after the fumble recovery and up two scores in the fourth quarter. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They run behind center with Cutter. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Big winner Williams there on the stop. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and 10. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Again, it's Connor. And they're going to drop him well shy of the first as he can only make it to the 11. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Prater's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, they come through with three after forcing the turnover. But CD, second half, you're starting inside the red zone. Obviously, they would have liked six out of that. Absolutely, because that's all you're thinking is, how do you get it into the end zone? You want the field goal to be the last resort? In this case, they gave it a great try, but did have to settle for three. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So Gino and the Seahawks down by 13. A minute 46 to go. Field goals useless at this point. They need two touchdowns, and they need them in short order. They'll run with Walker to begin the drive. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Here comes second down at five. He's going to let it fly. It's caught inside the 25. And he gets this down deep inside of Arizona's 15-yard line. Well, they need to score and score quick. One timeout remaining. Final minute, first and ten. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. 
And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. The extra point now coming from Myers. And the lead will shrink to six. A drive there of just four plays. And it's Noah Fant who caps things off with the touchdown. So a little under 50 seconds to go. Plenty of time if they can get this onside kick. And the Cardinals have got it. So that should just about put an end to this one. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And with the defense out of timeouts, powerless to stop the clock, this should just be a couple of kneel downs. Down to a knee. Here's the Cardinals look to let the clock roll. Down to a knee goes Murray as that will just about wrap this thing up. But taking that knee. Maybe just a sigh of relief. They withstood a big fourth quarter comeback. Able to hold on, though. Certainly looked like they had things going their way, didn't it? In the fourth quarter, they had to just hold on. As you said, furious assault on them. But they were able to get it done, take a knee, and head to the locker room with a win. And he'll take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play of this ball game. What a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown getting the victory and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces and what do real estate people tell us all the time it's location 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 so being at home that can be a big deal because remember they were down to their final chance to retake the lead that home field advantage i think it helped fuel all what happened for them down the stretch a huge win That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. It's a win for the Cardinals as we say so long from Glendale.